What's up, buddies? If you've looked into tuning your Mark 7 anytime recently, chances are somebody has mentioned CMOS tools or you heard about it, or maybe you've heard it referred to as open source tuning, even though it's not, but you're not exactly sure of what all that entails and what's involved. This is going to be a longer term series breaking down exactly what CMOS tools is, what it isn't, and what that process looks like of tuning yourself. Now this will not be an all-inclusive guide or how-to by any means, and it's definitely not an education on how to tune. There are dozens of box codes with these cars, each of them with unique quirks that you have to work around. Um, I'm not gonna be able to cover them all because frankly, I own one car. This is merely going to be a glimpse into the process of DIY tuning as it relates to my car and problems encountered, and we'll work through those together. I'm hoping to demystify the process to some degree because when I jumped into it about two and a half years ago, it was pretty daunting if I'm being honest. It's important to know that I am not a tuner and as such, I am not going to be liable for anything that happens to your car. I'm also not going to be answering any specific tuning questions in the comments or anything along those lines, but I'll gladly share the, my thought process on changes that I make for my own personal car and how I come to those conclusions. If you think there's a better way or I can do something differently, by all means, share it. I'm open to feedback. This entire series is gonna be broken down into very small chunks. I'm gonna be aiming for three to eight minute long videos or so, and it's gonna be meant to be watched in order. If you're watching this video right after it's been published, hang tight. It's probably gonna be a month or two before we actually get into the meat and potatoes of actually tuning the car and flashing the first file. This is because frankly, there's a lot of material to cover before we get to that point. Once we get fully set up, we'll be going through the tuning process on my IS38 equipped GTI, We'll follow it over a handful of revisions, and I'll also share some of the stuff that I've done that I've found helpful for track and autocross use as it pertains to the tune specifically.